hello again <laughs> and welcome to my channel this is a whole different phone oh my gosh i i just recorded this whole entire video and it wasn't recording and my phone died so i have a whole nother phone and i'm really literally just doing this whole video all over again i'm angela i am um i love luxury fashion especially luxury bags and i love to review them and i love to talk about them and i love to talk about the history and if you are into that kind of stuff like subscribe do everything that you're supposed to do with youtubers that you like even though i'm not a youtuber i'm a mom and i'm a business owner and I'm a wife and I just like to do this for fun anyway all right so what am I gonna review today can you see her Bottega Veneta and that is how you say but Bottega Veneta it's Italian and I made sure I was saying it right because I know it's like Bottega Veneta no it's Bottega Veneta so anyway um this is my very first time Oh my god look I have a camera I mean I have what is this a microphone and it doesn't work it's not even plugged into my phone you guys I need help with YouTube I need to take a YouTube course but all right let me get into this because I know that's what you guys wanted to come and hear me talk about Bottega Veneta and I got my first bag from Bottega Veneta and I have so many luxury bags that I love and I've never ever ventured out and gotten a Bottega bag one, because it's just, I have not been that Bottega girl, you know? Like, I was just like, oh, for so many years, like decades, I have like been a Lolo girl, like not super duper flashy, but I've always been like, I'm spending this money, you need to know what it is. But I'm venturing out. And I kind of feel like there's some bags where it's just like, if you know, you know. And Bottega is 100% that type of bag. A little history about Bottega and it's her. Um, 1966 is when they um, arrived into the fashion world in Italy. And it's an Italian designer. And there's something about the fact that they didn't have enough money for those big, huge machines that they had to hand stitch and do a lot of hand stuff in smaller machines that made their leather so supple, so buttery, so amazing. And that's what they're known for today. The other thing about Bottega is what they were founded on is not being logo centric. They wanted their leather to speak for itself. And that was a big deal back in that day because that was like the time, you know, Gucci's like Chanel, like everybody had logos and everybody knew what it was just by, based off of the logo. And Bottega really kind of was like bold by doing that and just like, no, I, we, our leather is amazing and it speaks for itself. So transition through to the 80s. They were amazing in the 80s. They had a big thing. I think Andy Warhol did some film about them or something. I don't know. I was trying to research. But then um, the 90s, they fell off. They fell off because it was logo mania. They could not compete with the Pradas, the Gucci's, the Louis, the Chanel's, all of that. It was the 90s. You all know the 90s. You know the 90s aesthetic. It was blah, Dior. Everything was like, mm. And Bottega being understated, they couldn't really survive as well in the 90s. They came back really popping back in 2000s and 2018 specifically, because I'm not going to make this whole thing about the history. Daniel Lee took over. Daniel Lee came from Celine, and he was the the director for ready to wear um in at celine under phoebe philo so that's a big deal so it's under phoebe philo and if you know phoebe philo celine then you know you know you know that daniel lee you know you understand his aesthetic and you understand how what it is right so um he also was working before i think at balenciaga as well as mason margella so he has this type of type of flavor okay so when he came on in 2018 he really oh he's like he did some bold things and I was even talking to the essay um when I was buying my bag and she was just like yeah I've been here for 10 years and she said even me like when he came on and he changed up the weave and it's like oh I'm gonna butcher this the type of weave for Bottega Veneta is called like intra intra shadow intra intra shadow anyway it's some type of weaving that they've had for for decades and he switched it up it was always this thin beautiful braided weeding, weaving. It was, <laughs> it was always a certain type of weaving and he like widened the weave and he did all these fun, different textural kind of things. And it really, really was bold. It was a risk 
and that risk worked. It doesn't always work. Look at Celine right now. Um, it doesn't always work, but his worked. And in 2018, when he launched that pouch bag and everyone went insane, all the influencers, which I am not one, all the influencers and all the celebrities, like everyone was like, whoa, okay? And then everybody flocked to Bottega, okay? I'm not gonna lie. I know Bottega has been here for a long time and I actually have been stalking them because I'll go into the store and just touch the leathers because it's so beautiful, but I never jumped. I was just like, it's just like nobody knows what it is. You know, but now I've matured. I've matured in my luxury aesthetic. And maturing in your luxury aesthetic means that you'll go with the understated bag because when you know, you know. And Bottega, baby, when you know, you know. Okay. Daniel Lee did it with this collection, the pouch bag impeccable. Would I get it? No, absolutely not. I'm not getting the pouch bag. I'm a mom of three, seven and under, and I'm a wife, and I got two business. I'm, that's not me. I'm not walking around, and I just have this just because I'm going to do a demonstration later, but this is not me. It's just not. I, I'm not carrying a pouch. I'm just not. Not for that kind of money. Now, would I get it if I was in a different time in my life? Absolutely. It's impeccable. It's beautiful. It's perfect. It's structural. Oh, it's just amazing, but for me, I'm not getting that bag. Next up is the Jody bag. That jo I don't have that either. The Jody bag <laughs> is so cute. Supposedly it's named after Jodie Foster. Jodie Foster was hiding herself behind that bag for the paparazzi. And I think Daniel Lee supposedly, I think that lighting is bad, but whatever. The uh, Jodie Lee was hiding behind it. And I think they said that Daniel Lee like named it after that situation. But I don't know. I think these are all rumors. I'm not in there. I don't know these people, so... Oh, anyway, so that bag is super cute. I would definitely get that. Um, it's not on my list, but I would definitely get that. And if somebody gifted it to me, I would be so happy. And I would get the big one. There's multiple sizes for that. I'm talking so fast because I already did this video. I literally recorded this whole video and it wasn't recording. Like who does that? Me. So what was I saying about the Jody bag? Because I already said it. The Jody bag <laughs> comes in multiple sizes. It's so cute. I would never carry that little one. That's not me. I'm 5'10". So I would never carry that little one, but it's cute for certain types of girls. And I would love the big one, that crossbody one. Like I'll crossbody it because it's just so cute. And it'd be like super luxurious diaper bag, like super luxurious. Like, ooh. But um, am I getting it? No. If, I, if you want to gift it to me, yes, I'll take it. I love it. But don't give me that little one because mm -mm, I'm 5'10". I need, mm -mm. and I'm, mm -mm. I don't want to look bigger. I don't want to look bigger. So I need a big bag, but I, I mean, I love little bags. I'm tiny bag energy. That's what they say, TV. I, I love little bags, but that specific little bag is way too little for me. Uh -uh. So where do I go from here? The cassette bag. Okay, so that's what I got, all right? So I got the cassette bag. I did not get the cassette bag. I got the padded cassette bag. Do not get the cassette bag. I'm gonna try to put it here somehow. You know how they do? Um, that cassette bag is not cute. Do not get that. If you're going to get a cassette bag from there, get the padded cassette, which I'm going to show you. That cassette bag looks like Target, maybe Zara. Lovely, lovely brands. I love Zara, like love, love Zara, but I'm not paying that $2,000 for a Zara bag. Just not doing it. Okay. I'm going to go to Zara and I'm going to get a cute bag from Zara. Right. So that bag is, you know, Bottega is known for their understated luxury just for those classy girls. But come on, Bottega, how understated can you get like that? No, I'm definitely not doing that. So lo and behold, here we go. This is her. This is the packaging, by the way. Bottega sucks with their packaging in my eyes. I don't like them. I don't know if anybody has any other type of situation, but this is all it came in. I didn't get a box. And I'm like, were they out of boxes? And I didn't even think about it. And my husband was like, did you ask for a box? And I was like, well, I just didn't know. I was like, maybe this is just what they do. But I was like, okay. So it didn't come in a box. It just came in a bag. My shoes came in a box, but this bag didn't come in a bag box. And you know how I feel about unboxing. And I couldn't unbox her. I could just unbag her. Anyway, let me show you. So this is her. She's beautiful. Okay, yes. Oh, and those bags, I, I didn't even talk about it. They come with chains. Um, not The pouch comes with a chain, um, which I'll go into. And this comes with a chain as well. I did not get the chain. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to disappoint you ladies who are like obsessed with the chain. I didn't get the chain. 
I got the leather strap and there's a reason. And it wasn't a financial decision. I would have gotten the chain if I wanted the chain because if you're going to spend that money, you're just going to spend the money. Okay. So I didn't get the chain because, um, a couple of reasons. One, it doesn't fit in my lifestyle. Okay. Um, that chain is very beautiful. Ugh. You can just wear nothing. I mean, you have to wear clothes, but doesn't even matter what you wear if you have that bag oh that chain speaks for itself it's so beautiful so those ladies who have that chain and went for it god bless you i love it i went for this and this is very unlike me because i um am a flashy girl when it comes to bags i want to like be the flashiest but i've made a lot of mistakes in my life okay so I decided to think about it for my first bag in a, in, a, in, in a fashion house, and I felt like I needed it to be more classic. And I felt like this pad of cassette, not the pouch, not the Jody, this to me is here to stay. This is a bag that to me is timeless. I mean, it's timeless. The reason why I say that is because pillowy bags, while they're in the Lulu YSL, the Chanel 19, which I reviewed before, um, um, and this are pillowy, right? They're like pillowy, beautiful, soft type of leather. Now, the thing is, you can say all you want and think that it's trendy, but I do not think that's trendy. You know why? Because Chanel 19, Chanel just named Chanel 19 a classic bag. So you know what that means? That means that it's here to stay. So that pillowy, billowy, mm, buttery look is here to stay. So that's why I got this one in this fashion house. Okay. All right. And then why didn't I get the chain? It's not, doesn't suit my lifestyle. I, um, I know when I tried it on personally, the chain was so heavy and I don't go anywhere. I mean, we go, we go out with our kids. All right. I mean, me and my husband go out sometimes, but very rarely. And I'm just not carrying the chain to play dates. I'm just not. So that's why I got this bag. And I'm not disappointed at all, just because I feel like it's so beautiful. But anyway, I got this bag. The bag is amazing and I love it. This type of bag, I'm doing crossbody. This type of bag, um, I am doing a little bit more casual. I tried to do it on like a dress and I'll insert my little video. It didn't look right. I don't know why. I think because I crossbodied it, maybe that's why. I oh don't wait, know. I it didn't crossbody really it. <laughs> but when I did it casual, like with this, I thought it looked really cute and it looked really cute crossbody. I think maybe if I did it like just shoulder, you know, with the dress, I think it'd be cute. And I shortened the straps, but I kept the strap here. Um, some downfalls to this bag, I'm going to tell you, it's very, very soft. So you're going to get these dents. This bag was in the showroom or whatever they call it. Um, and if you notice, they had it on the strap and you can see the dent. Okay. Cause the leather is so amazing. And the other downfall, some people reviewed this bag talking about it's hard to open. And I'm like, it doesn't, it's not hard to open. That is not a downfall. So do not go to this bag and be like, oh my God, I'm not going to be able to open it. It opens. But because you have to pull down and open it, it's just a little different. Just It's just a little different. But I do believe by you pulling down and doing that so much, it's going to put creases in your leather. So if you're a girl who is going to carry this every day, you're going to have to think about that. And it's probably not, the resale value is going to be low. You're not, I didn't buy this bag to resell it there's tons of these bags so the resale value is not it so do not buy this bag if you think you're going to resell it like a like a chanel bag and you're going to get your mother money's worth because you're not you're going to lose your money so get this bag if you want to keep this bag okay the other thing about this bag that i was actually very surprised about is that it, although it looks sizable and it looks really cute um it looks thick it's the leather that's thick the inside is very 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 small and I'm going to show you, um, I think that was my only other downfall to this bag. Yeah. Oh no, there's one more. Cause I'm going to show you why it's small. Cause I'm going to show you what fits in the bag. But the other thing is this whole bag is woven. There's no lining. So you know what that means. If you mess your bag up on the inside, it is impossible to clean this bag. It's like super hard. It's like, there's no lining. So if you're like rough with your bags, you just don't even need to get the cassette. You just don't need to get it because you're going to F this bag up. Okay. So if you're rough with it, I'm not rough and I don't carry my bags more than like one or two days at a time. So I switch my bags up a lot. So I don't think it's going to happen with me, but I will say that there's no lining and you got to be careful. The whole bag is made out of this weaving. I think this is oh, entrechado, entrechado lining, weaving. I don't know. It's some type of Italian weaving. 
um, created by Bottega Veneta back in the 60s and it's beautiful, but Daniel Lee made it wider and so much more youthful. Mm. All right, let me show you what fits in this bag. This bag doesn't fit anything. I'm gonna show you sunglasses. You can't put that box in there, the, the box of sunglasses. You need to put like a little bag like this. Okay, you're gonna put this in there. I put this in the bottom. So this literally fits in the bottom. <laughs> can't fit nothing do not put lipstick in there because you do not want to ruin it I literally got this gaudy lipstick case stupid purchase but I got but it works sometimes it works for this bag put your lip gloss something in a lip gloss container case your mask sign of the times all right and then some perfume um, put this in there and then this is a no-no but I'm gonna do this just for purposes of this video <laughs> You're not going to put red hand sanitizer in it. But anyway, get your Purell, whatever. Put your hand sanitizer in it because it's sign of the times and you should do, do it anyway. And then like a card case, that, like that's about all you can fit. Don't put an actual wallet. But who does wallets anymore? I don't think people do that. Whatever. All right, so boom, that's it. That is it. Oh, and then a cell phone, but I'm using the phone, so I can't show you. And then, just like I said, I can't close, I, it's hard to close this bag. Look at me, struggling. But um, that's closing the bag, and that is that. Let's see, I need to stop. Anyway, so I closed it. It's closed. <laughs> so anyway, that's that. All right, so Lil's Detailing has this, this, uh, this, you know. If you know, you know. And that's about it. So it doesn't fit a lot. I also recommend putting something like this, um, all your stuff in this, and then putting it inside something small that will fit in there. It doesn't have to be this. It could be just something from Amazon. That's what I use in some of my bags where I'm just like, I do not want to get anything on this bag. Um, but yeah, that's that. That's the Pata Cassette, guys. It's my first Bottega bag. Like, I'm in there now. What's next? I think the Jody. I, I actually I don't know. I don't think I'm buying any more Bottega. I really I, I really don't like the packaging. I'm not gonna lie. And I'm an unboxing type of girl. So what I did was, can you all picture me or somebody or yourselves in New York City with this bag? Oh my gosh! In the fall, mm, with a leather jacket and these heels. I did it guys I got the heels I got the heels to match I did it I am not matchy matchy I do not do that but these heels I've always wanted and I was like they're really cute in like colors but I decided to just get black because I got the black bag but I really like these in colors but this these are the cutest shoes I think they're really cute but when you're looking at them like when you're looking at them if you look at them I think they're the Lido heels Lido whatever if you ever look at them on Instagram or wherever Pinterest they actually look like they're just flat it's kind of weird so they're cute, but you got to like turn it and then you're like, oh, those are heels. So just keep that in mind if you do get decide to get these. Um, they're really, really cute and beyond comfortable and perfect with the cassette. Like perfect. You got to do both. You got to do both. Okay. And you got to match it. That is just. Mm. So I was in between black and brown and I got the black because I felt like, I, you know, Women who wear black live colorful lives. And I just thought that I just needed a black bag. I really do for the first bag. And then also I was in between this black and this brown. And I really decided to do black. I just, guys, I'm like a color girl. And I just decided to just go all out and do black. And I do not regret this purchase at all. I love it. I highly recommend this bag. If you get it, you're going to be happy. Okay. Let me just one show you one more thing. Look at how they package the shoes. They put this. My lighting is terrible, but look. I was just like, really guys? These shoes are expensive. I was really offended. I mean, you get your dust bags and stuff and the box is fine, but it was just like, and the dust bags are actually pretty nice and thick. But I, the, the crank, it was the crinkle paper for me. I was just like, that's not it. But other than that, I'm I'm happy with this fashion house. I love the leather and I'm happy that I got this. And will I be buying more Bottega? Not sure gotta stay tuned like subscribe love me do all the things you're supposed to do for youtubers even though i'm not a youtuber thank you for watching get the padded cassette if you're gonna get it not the regular cassette bye guys